All right, Shalom Amaki, I'm out there. First and foremost, before I start, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakudash. I want to give double honor to the apostles at Great Millstone who taught me this word. Wa Shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, back at it with another lesson. GMS Strive to be saved, coming in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakudash. All right, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And as you brothers can see, um, we don't really have a title for this one yet, but this is kind of like a land back on um, what the brother GMS Watchman did, you know, just uh, putting this guy, <clears throat> this real disrespectful Jake right here, you know, never really heard of him before. I guess he's a comedian. Um, also, another brother uh, like sent sent me uh, the video um, on Instagram and I just happened to catch this live and I recorded it, which I'm going to show to you brothers. You know what I mean? But this just a this is a real disrespectful Jake to the Heavenly Father and uh, his son, Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, <clears throat> and he's specifically coming at um, you know, uh the Hebrew Israelites, you know. He's he's coming at us. Um, you know, y'all brothers could go watch the uh the GMS Watchmen, you know, for uh like an exact reference of what he said, you know. But I recorded him a little bit in this part. Um, that I recorded, it was like, man, you know, I got to do a video on this, you know. So, um, Lord willing, I'm going to, uh, you know, play a little bit of this. I'm not going to, I probably don't play the whole thing because this dude, he just a real disrespectful ass Jake, man. I'm going to read this quote from Theodore Roosevelt, you know, and, and get some scriptures. And Lord willing, this may be edifying to you brothers out there. All right. Um, but let's, let's get it. Let's go there. You know what a you know what a college degree look like? Huh? You know what a master's degree look like? Guarantee you don't. You know why? Because most scholars don't go to church. Right? Because they too knowledge building knowledge of the world. You feel what I'm saying? I know what a master's degree looks like though. How about that? Fuck your book, nigga. So you see, yeah, this dude, <laughs> you know, he the Lord is going to kill this dude right here, man, you know? But just going to the point to where he said a, a master's degree and all that and how, uh, you know, people who are scholars, they don't, they don't read the scriptures, which that's wrong. That's wrong. A lot of uh, archaeologists, a lot of um, scholars do use the scriptures as a reference, you know, because it's history in the scriptures. And your, your president... Theodore Roosevelt, okay, what did he say? This is a quote from Theodore Roosevelt. He said, a thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. I'm going to read it again. A thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. It's worth more than your master's degree. It's worth more than your bachelor's degree. Right? Because college is, is a scam, man, you know? You ain't learning shit in there, man. You know, you ain't learning about life. You ain't learning about your purpose, who you are, okay? Real history, you know? Because they don't they don't teach you real history in, in those schools, man, in Esau schools, you know? They don't they don't teach you history in there, man. You know? So let, let's let's get these scriptures, you know. This is second Peter chapter three, verse three, because this is all prophecy at the end of the day. You know, the Lord said it, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. You see, and that's what this guy is. He's he's a scoffer, man. You know. And obviously he he keeps speaking on uh, Israel, man. You know, he made that post that the brother, uh, you know, uploaded and put it on his page. And now he's back on Instagram live and he's going hard again, you know, so. Hey, that's just the Lord marking his ass, man, you know, because those scoffers, they're not going to go unpunished. OK. So it says there shall come in the last day scoffers. Let's look up this word scoffer, man. You know, I'm pretty sure I looked it up before. Let's see what it says in the. Um, in the Greek. OK, this is from Strong's G1703, right? Strong's G seventeen oh three, Impike Tace, Impike Tace, 
Hartes. Okay, a mocker. He's a mocker. He's a mocker, man. You know? And what the Lord said, said about mockers, man. We got to get him. We have to. Let me see if I can get it in this scripture so we can stay there. Uh, we got to get him, man. In Galatians, man. Okay? You know, we brought this out at camp yesterday, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not mocked. It says, be not deceived. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not mocked. The Lord is not mocked, man. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So he gonna have to sow these words. All these, these disrespectful words that he, he's saying about the Lord. Not just the Lord. Um, no, because he's talking about the Lord's servants. You know, brothers out there that's teaching. You know? Right? You really talking about the Lord, man. Okay? You're going to have to answer to all that, man. And it's going to be with your life. All right? Because the Lord is a strict, hard teacher. Okay? His lessons are life and death, man. Okay? And and you going to have to... He, this dude going to have to learn the hard way, man. You know? But hey, like we reading, it, it's prophecy. It says, be not deceived. Yah Bashim Yah is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay, so he going to reap, okay, uh, uh, death, man. Okay, let's go back to this word, uh, scoffer in the Greek. All right, a mocker, scoffer, okay, a false teacher. This guy is also a false teacher, you know, um, because what, what he's teaching in his, in his platform, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of people following him, you know, um. He's he's causing people to go to go astray, you know, and he's trying to attack, you know, um, Israel, you know. We waking Jake's up to who they really are, man. You know. You, you talking about what are we doing? We waking Jake's up to who to who they really are, man. And really, not every Jake, just the elect, okay? Because that's who the Lord is looking for, the chosen, man, the ones who were meant to get it. We understand that it's Jake's like this, like him. He he just ain't gonna get it, man. You know, he just going to he going to uh, he going to get it once those missiles come. man. OK, when the Lord take the blinders off his ass, let's go back to second Peter three and three. Knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. And saying, where's the promise of his coming? Right. And that's in essence, that's what he said. You know, where's the promise of, of, of what you saying? Oh, these are fairy tales. You know, if you if go on in this video, you know, that's what he that's what he's saying. Oh, stop believing in fairy tales. It's 2023. Such and such, you know. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Right. And that's that's what they say. That's what these scoffers say. OK, ain't going to be no second coming. Ain't going to be none of this and none of that. You know, you believe in a book that man wrote. Yeah, 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 man. Okay. We're going to see. For this they are uh, willingly, it's like here, for this they willingly are ignorant. All right? This is a, ignorant as our people are. Ignorant as hell, man. You know? They don't want to know. It says they willingly ignorant, man. Okay? Because you, you, got, you got the prophets out there teaching. Okay? Letting you know what's going on and how this damn devil is about to roll on you, man. You know? With all these uh, FFs, man, F-A-L-S-E flags, man, okay? He's bringing that, that C-hip, okay? And more than likely, that dude got jabby-jabbed, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to be stuck out there, man, because you're willingly ignorant. For this, they are willingly ignorant of that by the word of the Heavenly Father, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing in, standing in, out of water and in the water whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished you see and this is going into the flood man okay in which which he goes on to say that you know he he mentioned certain stories in the scriptures you know i know he mentioned that he talked about moses splitting the, the red sea you know uh, i'm not sure if he mentioned jonah and all that but you know, it's not like it's not for you to understand. All right. This is 
uh, faith based, man. Okay. Just like just like the flood, man. Like the scripture said, you are willingly ignorant of that the Lord flooded this place. All right. And guess who died? People just like this this fucking ignorant ass dude perished. Okay. Once that water came. You know. And saved Noah. Uh, and, you know, and his family. Okay, it's gonna be the same thing today. Just like back then, it's gonna be the same thing today, man. You know, when your shot come back, man. All right. This time the Lord is doing it with fire, though, man. It says, "Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and the earth, which are now right, the time we're in now, right? By the same word, by the same word, because the heavenly Father's word don't change. Okay, by the same word. All right, the same power that flooded this earth and killed everybody." On the planet besides Noah and his family, man. Are kept in store. Reserved unto fire. Against against the day of judgment. And against. It's like it. Against the day of judgment and perdition. Perdition meaning destruction. Of ungodly men. Right? So. so the Lord got the heavens and the earth right now. Alright? By the same word. He, he decreed that this place is going to go out by nuclear missiles, man. OK, and that and, and the nuclear missiles hitting America, that's your lake of fire, man. All right. The day of, a day of judgment is reserved until the day of judgment. All right. It's like I'm going to read it again. Reserved until fire against the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. And you're looking at one of them right there. All right. That's an ungodly dude right here, man. You know, let's go ahead. Pleasing father to my children and a good grandfather. I don't need that. I don't need that. Go buy some land. Go get some money, nigga. Fuck your book, bro. Respectfully. You know how you got that book? Through slavery. Through slavery. You think motherfuckers in Africa was reading the Bible? Shut your dumb ass up. How the fuck white people get the Bible in America? Through slavery. Blue slavery. <laughs> this Jake don't know nothing, man. You know, that's that's how far your research goes. You know, yeah, we're we're condemning we're condemning this devil with the same book. You right? He did. He was using this in slavery against us. You know, using scriptures like obey your masters. You know, and scriptures like that to benefit him, right? You know. But we're condemning this devil with the same book. You know? Because you know why? Because this is our book. All right? We're the people of the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. Y'all by Shimei Abishai, the Israelites, man. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indians, man. This is this was our book to begin with. He's the counterfeit. Okay? Enough of that God, man. You know? We know what's gonna happen to him. All right. But you just you just see, hey, we in those times, hey, and the Lord gonna start judging, start judging these dudes, man. You know, Lord willing, I'm gonna uh, start a series, you know, just like, uh, cause I was thinking about this the other day, and I was telling the brothers, it's it's film directors, you know what I mean? They they go through the scriptures, man. You know, in order for them to make their movies, they, you know, and get their ideas to create films, they study the scriptures. You got archaeologists, they study the scriptures, right? To see where they could find ancient um, relics and, you know, they, they search out things um, like Noah's Ark, you know what I'm saying? Which, you know, we don't need that stuff. We we already believe in Yah Bashim al what he said, you know. But you got people out there that, that, that their whole life is just to search out what the scriptures say and they go to these certain lands and they, oh, we found Noah's Ark, you know. And they find relics and ancient stones and all that. So Lord willing, I'll do, you know, like a little uh, series on this, man, because I was already thinking about it, right? But this is uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, would ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, you know? That's that's what that guy was. He hates Yahweh Bashim Shai, and he hates the knowledge of the Lord, man, you know? Because he has something against... <laughs> You got something against the Lord. It's not us. It's the Lord that you have a problem with. 
you know? It says, turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Right? And the Lord, how does the Lord doing that? Through his men, through the prophets, man. Because I have called and ye refuse. What you think the brothers out there doing? We calling out, man. Okay? That's what church means when you look it up. It means to call out. So we're calling out, man, using the Lord's words. And ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. You see? The only man that's going to regard is the elect. But ye have set not at, you have set at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. And this dude, he going to be stuck in some type of calamity. Who knows how the Lord going to take his ass out? It may be public. You know, you remember the last dude, <laughs> you remember the last two security guards, you know, <laughs> a little inside joke, you know, but the last guy who did this, man, uh, Ricky Harris, you know, the Lord put his ass to death, man, uh, swiftly too, you know, he, he got put to death in like 2016 or so, okay, because he was mocking the Israelites, hey, but Yahweh Bashim Yom is not mocked, you know? This is what the Lord said right here. I also will laugh at your calamity. Right. When Esau rose on your dumb ass, I will mock. So the Lord going to mock when your fear cometh, man. Okay. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Man, these words is crucial, man. The Lord wasn't joking when he said this. He said, your destruction going to come as a whirlwind, man. And you're going to have fear. You're going to be scared. You're going to be scared, man, because he had mentioned his children in there. You know, you're going to be put in a situation where it's going to be a fearful freaking uh, situation for you, man. You know. And it's going to cause it's going to cause distress and anguish. Verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Then you're going to try to call upon whoever you believe in, you know. But right now you say you don't believe in God, but hey, and that when that anguish come on you, <laughs> you gonna call on whoever you gonna believe in, right? But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You know, because at that time it's gonna be judgment, man. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their do of their own way. And be filled with their own devices, man. And that's how the Lord gets you, man. You know? He gets you um, through, through your own wickedness, man. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. You know? And that's the stead that us brothers are in, man. Are in you few sisters out there. Okay? We hearkening unto the Lord diligently, man. All right. Hoping to dwell safely when the evil times come. And we're in this evil time, man. You got, you know, that dub dub three. All right. Basically here. OK. This damn uh, this uh, dollar about to crash, man. OK. You got the Lord's prophecies coming to pass, man. All right. And we see the evil coming. All right. And that's why we 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 stand, you know, trying to do the best that we can, man. OK. And we're going to see, uh, I'm telling you, us brothers, we're going to see the judgment of... Let's go ahead. We're going to see their judgment, man. You know? It's going to be some crucial shit, man. You know? But yeah, that was that was pretty much the lesson. All right? Um, hey, we def we defenders of the gospel, man. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that. You know, it roused my spirit up to do this. You know, we know, hey, scoffers going to scoff, man. That's It's all prophecy. All right. Even him scoffing is prophecy, man. You know, and we know what's going to happen to scoffers, man. OK, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto you, brothers and few sisters out there. I'm going to close it out by giving all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakao Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this word. Wash Shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Stay up, brothers. Shalom.